using only these electronic components in today's video I will make an interesting project so you can test the electronic components are they are okay or not hello youtubers and welcome back to my channel as I said today's project will be interesting and for making you will need this kind of electronic component it's a bridge rectifier one of those you will need one 10 kilo ohm resistor and this module it's a digital LED voltmeter with three wires negative positive and wire for measuring the voltage on negative and positive we're gonna power with voltage you're gonna see right now it says zero 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 why because this wire can't detect any voltage and can't measure but if I connect to the positive look 4.96 volts it's a digital LED voltmeter and using this voltmeter in today's video in today's video project I will show you how you can make a tester for electronic components drop voltage for electronic components and it's simple here it is the circle diagram as I said one LED voltmeter one bridge rectifier and one resistor of 10 kilo ohms here it is the circle diagram you can pause the video and take a screenshot okay let's build it I upload new videos almost every day so subscribe to my channel share this channel with your friends and you can watch a DIY videos like this project which is portable transparent light in description below I will put link so you can watch it thank you oh, oh I forgot you will need two wires with alligator clips positive and negative and also two wires positive and negative for applying to the bridge rectifier right here and these will be up the probes the first thing that I need to solder is the positive wire from the LED voltmeter go to the positive leg of the bridge rectifier and the negative go to the negative leg of the bridge rectifier let's solder that first The 10 kilo ohm resistor go to the positive of the bridge rectifier. Now the voltage in from the LED voltmeter wire go directly on the resistor right here. I'm gonna twist it like this. Solder. Also on this point we're gonna solder the positive probe right here. Come on. Alright. Alright. And the negative probe for measuring electronic components will go on ground or, or negative of the bridge rectifier. Yep. We solder the probe wires and on AC input of bridge rectifier these two legs will supply with voltage of 12 volts DC voltage right here. Let's solder one. Okay. And the positive. done so we have two wires for powering the device with 12 volts and we have measuring probes time for testing let's power up 
with 12 volts input DC voltage and you should get 10 volt reading on the LED voltmeter. As I said, this is a tool or tester for drop voltage of electronic components. Now I'm going to measure this Zener diode and see what is the voltage of this positive and negative. Yes, it's working 2.48 volts. This is it's probably 2.7 volts, but it's okay. Let's take another Zener diode. This is 8.4 volts. Working great. Now I'm gonna test white LED. Okay, go to positive. 2.6 volts. The drop voltage of this of this white LED is 2.6 volts. Okay. Let's try it yellow. Eight point eight eight one point point eight volts. All right. Let's take a blue one. Two point five six volts. The tool is working great. I'm gonna try with diet. This is 1N4007 and see the drop voltage of this 0 0.5 volts and other way what it says nothing the 1N4007 have 0 0.7 volts drop voltage and this showed 0 0.5 it's measuring okay and this is the Schottky diode and I think it's 1N58150 it's a Schottky diode Whoa. this should be 0 0.12 it's okay the tool is working great I love it let's measure this Cells blinking LED. Whoa, what he is doing? It's reading different voltages. So, one more time using this DIY electronic device or tool, you can measure the drop voltage of electronic components and it's simple to build it. That was all for today's video. If you like it, please give a like, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. See ya! Simple device but useful. I like it.